four wheel drive problems 2004 Trailblazer. Trail Blazer. I replaced that axle and that module, that whole thing that goes onto the oil pan. And I can't get four wheel drive. So I think I'm going to do is I got to find either the fuse or it's got a bad switch. I'm going to find out though because before I've had this problem and I would, uh, I would un I would unplug the battery for a while. That'd be all right. But we're gonna I'm gonna unplug the battery again. I had to get towed out. I was trying to see if the four wheel drive, you know, see if the four wheel drive would work. And the I got brand new everything besides a, a transfer control switch, uh, which ain't been used a whole lot. I mean, I've had it off road probably about ten or fifteen times, but. Uh, it's got brand new everything besides a fuse and the switch that actually turns it into four-wheel drive Those are the only two things that could be it. I'll show you Turn this damn light off Anyway, it's this right here it, When I start it up, they all light up and then it goes dark. Then it says, says service four wheel drive. Right? You know, right up here somewhere. I was like, what the hell? I don't mind the dust. You know, this is a beater. I, I, I got a Z71 Tahoe. Anyways, this is my good truck though. I mean, not my good one, but it's my trailer puller. You know, for the quads and whatnot. So I'm hoping I can get this back right. Take the key out. I've had this problem many times before, actually. And what I would do is, is, is stop. Turn the car off, put it back in two-wheel drive, stop, shut the car off, take the key out, wait about two minutes, put the key in, and start it back up. And usually that four-wheel drive light goes out. I've had that happen to me about at least five times. It, it, it does, it happens, just here, you know, it's just weird, just where, out of nowhere, you think, oh my God. So the only thing it could be is this switch. I pulled her out, I unplugged it. Looks like it might be original. Let's see. Uh, it's probably original. I mean, looks old. Look at how no, no, you know what I mean. It looks like it's old, but it might be that. A lot of times it is that they say, but I'm hoping. You know, I'm gonna get her back. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping to get her back. Like right now. We'll see though. But that is a common thing. If you, you can, if your four wheel drive light comes on. And it says problem with the four wheel drive. Try to uh, shut your car off for a few minutes. Turn, take the key out of the ignition, like I said, then start it back up. Keep it in too high, though, when you shut it off. Put it in too high. Don't have it in four wheel drive. Don't don't do that. All right, I got my battery hooked up. I don't even know what the hell fuse is that. Four wheel drive unit. Let me see if I can get up in there. I'm gonna turn it upside down, guys, just for a second. See if I can zoom into these fuses. I know it's these little red guys. One of these. Come on, zoom in. This piece of shit. I can't wait to get my GoPro. I'm serious. Uh, they all look pretty good to me. Sorry about this, guys, but I was I was stuck. I had to get pulled out by a guy. I went off road to test my four wheel drive. I got I got a brand new whole thing put in. That. It was an eight hundred dollar part. That uh, what the hell is that called? Like a uh, it's like a it's like a case it's got it's, it's got a gearing and it. it's what it's what locks it out you know there, there, there's just a lockout by on, on the transmission on the transfer case obviously then there's a lockout up front i it's but it's a big giant case and the axle goes into it so i replaced that that was brand new i paid 325 bucks for it because i got it offline and uh that was like a year ago year and a half ago that was a bit still don't get me wrong that was a hard job putting the new axle in and, and it ain't many bolts to get that big thing off of there but uh it was it was wobbly the axle that was going into it was wobbly as hell 
uh, why this is all dirty is because I was overheating. I took the cap off of it, you know, trying to trying to cool her down, and then I just let it out slowly, and the cap popped right off, and it went all over everything. That was just recently. So I got a power washer. I gotta get this damn air filter back in straight. I had this all apart because of what was I doing down there? I don't have my air my air box on. That's that's ridiculous. It's just smogging it right out. Uh, I don't I forget what I was doing down there. Anyways, I got I got it all back in. Got the windshield washer working. Let's go see if this works. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Uh-uh. Still got a problem. The lights ain't lighting up. They usually light right up. I hope it ain't no fucking transfer control switch or some shit like that underneath the dashboard. Come on. That would be a bitch. But, again, this is a tip. This happened to me a lot of times. You get that service four-wheel drive light. You get that. Turn it, shut, stop, shut the car off, take the key out for a couple, about two minutes. Let's just, let's just give it two minutes. Put it back in, start it back up. If you have the same problem, unhook the hood, or, oh, oh, sorry, open up the hood and take your positive terminal off. Usually it's a half inch. Uh, take that positive terminal off, wait about five minutes. Then put that positive terminal terminal back on you know and tighten it back up come back in here i mean every single time I, it's worked for me and set and, and now it doesn't so it's pretty weird i gotta figure this out but that was a tip guys remember shut the car off turn take the key out wait two minutes and then go ahead and uh if you have to, if that doesn't work, unhook your, your your positive battery post and make sure it's unhooked for five whole minutes at least and plug it back in. That kind of resets uh, some of the computer and the ECM. All right, guys, let's, uh, we'll let you go.